Learn and play online. Changes in states of matter. Please make sure you watch our first video about states of matter before continuing as it will help you understand the content of this video better. You can find the link to this video in the description box. As we have learned, almost everything around us is made out of matter and there are three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. But did you know that it is possible to change from one state of matter to another? In order for this to happen, a form of energy needs to be used. In this instance, heat energy or lack of heat energy is the key to changing one state of matter into another. Let's look at some examples. Water is an example of a liquid state. Although the particles of liquid matter are close to each other, they are able to flow freely as they take up the shape of the container they're in. So how can liquid matter be changed into solid matter? That's right, the liquid would need to be frozen. This process is known as freezing and this is how liquid states of matter turn into solid states of matter. The process of freezing is where there is a total absence of heat energy. So when water is frozen, it changes from a liquid state to a solid state because it becomes ice. When liquid is frozen and becomes a solid, the particles go from being near each other in free-flowing atoms that can take the shape of any container to tightly packed together, enabling it to retain its fixed volume and shape. So how does solid matter become liquid matter? It would be the opposite of the freezing process, which is melting. Remember the water that turned into ice? Well, if the freezing temperature is not maintained and the ice is exposed to even just a little bit of heat, it will begin to melt and eventually turn back into its original state of liquid form of water. Another example of this is chocolate. If we took solid chocolate and added heat energy to it, it would melt and become liquid chocolate. So we have learned that by freezing liquid, it becomes solid matter. And by melting solid matter, we will get liquid matter. Now let's explore liquid matter changing into gas matter. When liquid matter transforms into gaseous matter, the process is called evaporation. And the water cycle is probably the best place to start with understanding this process. Evaporation is happening every day because the heat from the sun causes surface water from our oceans, rivers and lakes to evaporate into water vapour. Water vapour cannot be seen in its gaseous form. Evaporation will always occur when there is heat energy around sources of water, even if it was small droplets of water. Throughout the day, they would become smaller and smaller and eventually completely disappear because the droplets are evaporating. Evaporation is a natural process, where heat slowly turns liquid matter into gas. But there is another way that liquid can be vaporised, and that is known as boiling. And this is an unnatural process that speeds up vaporization. Think about when water is getting heated up in a kettle or a pot. When it reaches boiling point, you can begin to see the steam rising from the water source. So we've just gone through evaporation, but what is the process called when gas matter turns into liquid matter? When that happens, it is known as condensation. Condensation is when water vapor turns back into a liquid state. This occurs when the vapour in the air is cooled and the particles begin to slow down. Have you ever seen dew on grass early in the mornings? Or water droplets forming on the outside of your cold drink? Or notice water droplets on the inside of windows? They are all examples of condensation, where gas matter turns into liquid matter. Now let's move on to another change in state of matter, sublimation. Sublimation is when solid matter turns straight into gas matter, skipping the liquid state altogether. An example of this is when heat is added to dry ice, which is a solid. When heat is added to dry ice, it completely skips the liquid state as it turns straight into gas matter. The opposite of sublimation is where gas matter changes into solid matter, also skipping the liquid state. This process is called deposition. An example of this change is when you see frost. The freezing cold temperatures solidify gas matter, turning vapour in the air immediately into ice. We have now covered all the different changes in states of matter. We hope you enjoyed learning all about them. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.